Okay, before you uh, before you watch this, before you watch these pseudo disciples and demons cry their crocodile tears as Srila Prabhupada departs this world, I would like to read out a few statements from Shastra from Srila Prabhupada's books, which describe what is actually taking place when a pure devotee passes from this world, etc. So we get a clear idea of what's taking place. Okay, I'll start with this quote. When something is arranged by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one should not be disturbed by it, even if it appears to be a reverse according to one's calculations. For example, sometimes we see that a powerful preacher is killed, or sometimes he is put into difficulty, just as Haridas the Kaur was. He was a great devotee who came into this material world to execute the will of the Lord by preaching the Lord's glories. But Haridas was punished at the hands of the Kazi by being beaten in 22 marketplaces. Similarly, Lord Jesus Christ was crucified and Prahlad Maharaj was put through so many tribulations. The Pandavas, who were direct friends of Krishna, lost their kingdom, their wife was insulted and they had to undergo severe, uh, many severe tribulations. Seeing all these reverses affect devotees, one should not be disturbed. One should simply understand that in these matters there must be some plan of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Bhagavatam, the Bhagavatam's conclusion is that a devotee is never disturbed by such reverses. He accepts even reverse conditions as the grace of the Lord. One who continues to serve the Lord even in reverse conditions is assured that he will go back to Godhead, back to the Vaikuntha planets. Lord Brahma assured the demigods that there was no use in talking about how the disturbing situation of darkness was taking place since the actual fact was that it was ordered by the Supreme Lord. Brahma knew this because he was a great devotee. It was possible for him to understand the plan of the Lord. Sorry, Brahma knew this because he was a great devotee. It was possible for him to understand the plan of the Lord. Srila Prabhupada from Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 16th chapter, text 37. Okay, next quote. A devotee's attention is concentrated upon a devotee's attention is concentrated only upon the eternal loving service of the Lord, and therefore the power of death has no influence over him. In such a devotional state, a perfect yogi can attain the status of immortal knowledge and bliss. Srila Prabhupada from Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, Chapter 27, Text 30. This is another nice quote here. This is a very nice quote. Translation. And so, O Brahmana Vyas, in due course of time, I, who was fully absorbed in thinking of Krishna, and who therefore had no attachments, being completely freed from all material, material taints, met with death as lightning and illumination occur simultaneously. Purport. To be fully absorbed in the thought of Krishna means clearance of material dirts or hankerings. As a very rich man has no hankerings for small petty things, so also a devotee of Lord Krishna, who is guaranteed to pass onto the kingdom of God where life is eternal, full, fully cognizant and blissful, naturally has no hankerings for petty material things, which are like dolls or shadows of the reality and are without permanent value. That is a sign of spiritually enriched persons. And in due course of time, when a pure devotee is completely prepared, all of a sudden, the change of body occurs, which is commonly called death. And for the pure devotee, such a change takes place exactly like lightning and illumination follows simultaneously. That is to say, a devotee simultaneously changes his material body and develops a spiritual body by the will of the Supreme. Even before death, a pure devotee has no material affection due to his body's being spiritualized like red hot iron in contact with fire. Srila Prabhupada from Srimad Bhagavatam, 1st Canto, 6th Chapter, Text 27. So that's a, that's, a, that's a way to understand these videos. When we're watching these videos of Prabhupada's departure, we shouldn't see it according to our own self, 
and think that oh this person's dying under the influence of death being in overcome by death a pure dead body is not o overcome by death in fact this I'll read this next quote this is another good quote when Dhruva uh, translation when Dhruva Maharaj was attempting to get on the transcendental plane he saw death personified approaching uh, sorry when Dhruva Maharaj was attempting to get on the transcendental plane he saw death personified approach him not caring for death however he took advantage of the opportunity to put his feet on the head of death and thus he got up on the airplane which was as big as a house purport to take the passing away of a devotee and the passing away of a non-devotee as one and the same is completely misleading while ascending the transcendental airplane Dhruva Maharaj suddenly saw death personified before him but he was not afraid instead of death giving him trouble Dhruva Maharaj took advantage of death's presence and put his feet on the head of death people with a poor fund of knowledge do not know the difference between the death of a devotee and the death of a non-devotee in this connection an example can be given a cat carries its kittens in its mouth and it, all, and it also catches a rat in its mouth superficially the catching of the rat and the kitten appear to be one and the same but actually they are not when the cat catches the rat in its mouth it means death for the rat whereas when the cat catches the kitten the kitten enjoys it when Dhruva Maharaj boarded the airplane he took advantage of the arrival of death personified who came to offer him obeisances putting his feet on the head of death he got up on the unique airplane which is described here to be as big as a house Griham Srila Prabhupada from Srimad Bhagavatam 4th Canto 12th chapter text 30 okay and here's, here's another one there are two types of devotees the sadhaka who is preparing for perfection and the siddha who is already perfect as far as those who are who are already perfect are concerned Bhagavad Gita says after giving up this material body such a devotee comes to me after leaving the material body the perfect devotee takes birth in the womb of a gopi on a planet where Krishna's pastimes are going on this may be in this universe or another universe this statement is found in the Ujva, Ujvala Nilamani which is com commented upon by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur when a devotee becomes perfect he is transferred to the universe where Krishna's pastimes are taking place Krishna's eternal associates go wherever Krishna manifests his pastimes as stated before first the father and mother of Krishna appear then the other associates quitting this material body the perfect devotee also goes to associate with Krishna and his other associates Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Majalila 20th chapter text 37, uh, 397